I'm here with my girlfriend, Dasha. When you become an A-list YouTube celebrity, much like myself, you know, there's a lot of sick, sick fans out there that write fucking sick shit about you. They write their fantasies out about you. They're called fan fictions. Lots of them involve sexual encounters with me and other guys or other YouTubers. In many circumstances, the person writing the fan fiction writes about me engaging in a sexual act with them. So let me say, I don't condone any of this. I don't know you. Today we're gonna to be reading those things because it's time for me to face reality and say, hey, you know what, people are writing weird shit. Let's, let's go through some of the titles real quick. Are you his maid? Kid, kid, it's not even, it's not even <laughs> kidnapped by Sierra, it's kidnapped. <laughs> kidnapped by Sierra. Alfie Jane is a girl from a small town in Texas, but that all changes when she gets kidnapped by a very sexy YouTuber. That's fucking disgusting. I'm a 26 year old gentleman, okay? I drink, I drink scotch on Friday nights. And you're fantasizing about getting kidnapped for me. This is a photo of me from five years ago, okay? You're gonna regret this when you're older? <laughs> I'm really tempted to read this or um, are you his maid? We're gonna start with kidnapped. This was written on December 14th, two days before my birthday, which is a little creepy. Kidnapped by Vincent Sears, the first chapter. Hey, my name is Alfie Jane. You can call me AJ. I'm 19 and live in a small town, Texas, by myself. I lived a normal life until I met one of my biggest inspirations, Vincent Sierra, and fell in love with him. This is my story of being kidnapped by Vincent Sierra. It's Monday. God damn, I hate fucking Mondays. I hit my alarm clock, walked down the stairs, and made breakfast and called up my best friend, Rory. Let's get to the nitty gritty here. Let's skip all this. This is apparently what I'm thinking. I was walking back home from the bar. I was a little tipsy, but not enough to get caught until I ran into girl. She was beautiful. Her hair was red ombre with black glasses. Hey, she yelled, falling on her butt. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Aren't you Vincent's here, she asked? Yeah, you know who I am? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, you're amazing. I watch all your videos, she said happily. I stood there a second then smiled. I knew what I had to do. It was lovely to meet you, Alfie. That's apparently what I said. I said hugging her, then walking away from tweeting about meeting her. <laughs> you think I'm going to tweet about meeting you? I could. But then I stopped and pulled out the chloroform. What? That escalated. Holy shit. At least I was kind enough to tweet about you before I pull out the chloroform <laughs> rag, which is conveniently in my pocket. <laughs> Just in case I meet with the right fan at the right time. <laughs> Let's rewind a little bit. Um, it was lovely to meet you, Alfie. I said, hugging her, then walking away, tweeting about her. But then I stopped and pulled out the chloroform rag. I thought that I would never use. <laughs> oh my God. I ran up behind her and covered her mouth and nose. I felt her go limp. I felt her go limp, guys. <laughs> Using the chloroform rag, I never thought that I would use. <laughs> and I picked her up and took her home. What's more disturbing is that this came from somebody's brain. <laughs> I set her down and unlocked my house door and picked her up again. I opened my bedroom door and I laid her down on my bed and I kissed her head. It sounds like something you do. This is really fucked up. Uh, this is her point of view. Oh fuck, it's Tuesday. I opened my eyes and saw a sleeping body next to me. My eyes widened as every memory of last night came back to me. Oh my god. I got fucking kidnapped. I looked over the sleeping body again and I saw Seer. Did he kidnap me? <laughs> kidnap. I feel wrong for actually reading this. <laughs> I don't condone any of this, by the way. I'm just reading what's on the internet. I mean, you're at least kind of a gentleman. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, actually, I saw something great. Can I open a different story? Yeah. Because there's no sex happening and I really want to, want to read some like... Smut. Yeah. You want some good old-fashioned yes. seer smut. Okay, so there's something really exciting I read. See, this is already contains sexual content. Oh, this can no. only be good. But wait, wait, wait. It gets better. No. There's something even better. I'm also very interested in the Vincent Sear and Sam Carson one-shots. There's a first for everything. We should read that cup, the chapter. Sam How Carson is my roommate. Apparently there's some smutty shit about me and my roommate. You're my roommate. Okay, she's reading for Sam, my roommate. Okay. I started to rip off his pants, leaving his shirt on since he liked it that way. You're so hot. I moaned to him in between our kisses. You too, baby. He moaned back with a little grin. He turned over onto his hands and knees, so I knew he was ready. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. 
<laughs> it's your it's your Vincent's point of view. Okay, I'm gonna read my point of view. Apparently having sex with my <laughs> fucking roommate. Always ready for my first time with him. Come on, there has to be a little feel it. You Do have to as I was ready for my first time with him. Do as you're told, he said sternly. I nodded as he slapped my ass. <laughs> I moaned with pleasure, apparently. <laughs> he put one hand on my waist as he teased my entrance with his member. <laughs> he put one hand on my waist as he teased my entrance with his member. <laughs> that made my entire body tremble, except it fucking didn't, you <laughs> sick. He slowly inserted himself into me. Oh my god. <laughs> I can, Babe, I, can, I don't know if I can do this. Yes, you can. I can do it. I put my head onto the bed trying to cover, trying to overcome the pain. <laughs> he grabbed my slick black hair, it's brown, light brown, <laughs> and pulled my head up gently so it was off the bed. I'll go easy on you since this is your first. So it's not Sam's first, apparently. He whispered in my ear. He kissed my neck softly and began, I can't do this. I can't, okay. I can't, I fucking, okay. I don't want to do listen, this anymore. Listen. I really don't want to do we? this anymore. I bit my lip to keep myself from exposing the pleasure I was feeling. I felt him go faster and I couldn't help <laughs> but ask loud and hearty moans. He slapped my ass louder. He demanded, and I did as I was told. I we actually feel getting nauseous. <laughs> I actually feel like I I'm kept getting more weight. I kept getting louder and louder until he was satisfied. Sam, I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> what? I swear, Vincent, if you finish before me, that's all he had to say for me to get the point. I don't. Know we if went I can on. Do this no, no, no. You really guys, don't know. you guys go on for a couple minutes. Sam. I'm so fucking sorry, brother. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, just hit me with it. Just, it's for the fucking video. So he went on for a couple more minutes before he gave, gave me his final thrust and emptied himself inside of me. Oh my fucking god. I'm gonna vomit <clears throat> to this bottle and drink it because at least maybe wait, I'll wait. die. <clears throat> I released myself and fell onto the bed. He kissed me. Okay, are you ready for this? You're amazing, Vinny. 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 <laughs> Can't wait to do this again. It's not gonna. F There's a two years later, so it's going on for at least like two years two. later. Sears' ass is still <laughs> sewn up okay. from the horrifying experience from Sam's the chloroform. He didn't love me anymore. We had been together for so long, and now he doesn't even want to be in my presence. I trembled as I cried and looked across my bed to see a belt. <laughs> I grabbed the belt and went to the bathroom. Vincent's point of view. I came home about a week later. Sam, I'm home. It's like, honey, I'm home. Yeah, I got <clears> that. <throat> okay, <laughs> in case you didn't. We should talk. Sam? He didn't respond. I assumed he was out somewhere, not knowing I would be back. I sat down and waited for him to come home. After a while, I had to go to the bathroom. I pushed the door open to see Sam hanging. What the fuck? Sam killed himself. <laughs> comes up with this. <laughs> I thought he was just trying to choke you with the belt or like yeah, beat your I little that, ass. Oh uh, yeah, okay, I good. didn't think that Sam was gonna fucking hang himself in the I back. screamed and started to cry. Two years later, I went to his grave and placed the rose <gasps> on it. Oh my god, at <laughs> least I didn't place oh, the belt. Okay, no, wait for this. <clears throat> I went to his grave and placed the rose on it. It was May 13th, his birthday. I came every year on his birthday since he died. I wore a ring around my finger and called myself Sear Carson, even though we, we were never wed. I loved him too much to let go. I let a few teardrops fall down my face before I left him for another year. And that's how the story ends. I make YouTube videos. I'm an over-glorified nerd. There's no reason that anybody should be writing sexual stories about me. I'm gonna end this here. A lot happened. If you're ever thinking about becoming a YouTuber, 
really think twice because things like this will exist on the internet forever and I don't know and um, thank you to my lovely girlfriend Dasha for you know supporting me click like on this video if you felt like you were personally violated in any way which I was so that's a thousand likes right there leave a comment below what was your favorite part I don't want to know what's your favorite part my favorite part was when I closed my MacBook that was Satan's work, babe. <laughs> I was I was agnostic before this video. Now I'm Christian because I know now that Satan exists. Sam, I feel like I'm I feel like I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> What?